Welcome to Wildlife Acoustics. By default, when the song meter micro is powered on, it emits a Bluetooth status beacon every few seconds. This function uses negligible battery power. The status beacon enables remote monitoring of the song meter micro without having to physically access the recorder. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled on the Android or iOS device. Effective maximum distance for Bluetooth detection is up to 9 to 18 meters. Launch the Song Meter Configurator app. The first screen to open is the Recorders screen. Icons at the bottom of the Recorders screen can be tapped to access the App Information screen and the Configuration Library screen. When the Song Meter Micro Recorder is powered on and within Bluetooth range, the status beacon is received by the Android or iOS device. The Song Meter Micro is then detected and listed in the recorder's screen. Multiple Song Meter Micros can be detected and will be listed separately. The same Song Meter Configurator app is also used by the Song Meter Mini and Song Meter Mini Bat models. If those recorders are in use, they can also be listed in the recorder's screen. Listed recorders can be sorted by last time detected or by recorder name. If a detected recorder is powered off or is out of Bluetooth range, it remains listed in the recorder's screen. It is possible to clear recorders from the list, but the next time the Song Meter Micro is detected by the Configurator app, it will automatically be listed again in the recorder's screen. The last time a status update was received from the Song Meter Micro is listed under the recorder name. If the recorder is currently powered on and within Bluetooth range, the received time will be listed as just now. Each listed recorder has a status icon on the right. Tap the status icon to open the status screen. If the Song Meter Micro recorder is not currently detected via Bluetooth beacon, the status screen displays the status of the recorder at the time it was last detected. If the recorder is currently powered on and within Bluetooth range, the status screen is continually updated with real-time information from the recorder. Let's explore what the status screen describes. Starting from the top, we see the last time status was updated and an icon and text describing whether the Song Meter Micro is currently paired or unpaired with the Configurator app. Next is the storage information. If there is no micro SD card inserted in the recorder, or if the inserted card is damaged or corrupted, no card will be listed. If there is a working memory card in the recorder, space used on the card is listed by percentage and actual gigabytes. The total size of the memory card is listed, as well as available memory space and the number of recording files currently on the card. The number of recordings listed on the memory card is reset to zero when the song meter micro is powered off and on, or if the memory card is reformatted by the song meter micro. Below the storage status is the recorder model, name, and serial number. Here is the battery level, viewable as percentage or actual voltage. If one of the stock preset recording schedules is in use, the preset is listed by name. If a recording schedule has been customized, it will be listed as custom schedule. Battery type is AA, and this does not change. The last piece of information is the currently installed firmware version of the SongMeter micro recorder. So far, all of the information we see here is available without having to pair the SongMeter Micro Recorder with the Configurator app. However, there are additional status features available when the SongMeter Micro Recorder is paired with the app. I'll hold down the Pair button on the recorder for three seconds and then tap the Pair icon in the Configurator app. The Song Meter Micro is now paired with the Configurator app. Now I'll tap on the Paired status icon. 
If the song meter micro is currently in record mode, the paired status screen will display an audio level meter to show audio activity at the microphone. This allows a quick visual status check to make sure the microphone is working properly. The current recorder time is displayed. Remaining recording period time shows the end of this recording segment based on either the end of the schedule block or the specified maximum recording length. If the song meter micro is not currently in record mode, the start time of the next recording is listed. I'll go back to the recorder's screen and tap on the configure icon. The paired configuration editor screen opens. Notice this parameter, which is labeled send Bluetooth beacons. This parameter is only available from the paired configuration editor screen. By default, it is enabled, which means the SongMeter micro recorder sends out a continuous stream of Bluetooth beacons. It is possible to disable this function. This will prevent anybody else who might be running the Configurator app from detecting your recorder. Now with this function disabled, the SongMeter micro recorder is no longer remotely detectable by the SongMeter Configurator app. The only way the app will see the SongMeter micro is if the pair button on the recorder is pressed and held. The SongMeter Micro then uploads its current status and also becomes available for pairing in the Configurator app. Thank you for watching.